Let's make a four post Winchester bed. Base, put some Quebec Canadian pie. Now we want uh, four posts, uh, four by four or 10 centimetre, 10 centimetre at uh, 108 centimetres long. So that's all his wood cut up for his Winchester four post bed. So we've got a uh, four post here. It's going to be the post, upright post. Just behind there we've got uh, a couple of uh, legs of Canadian Quebec at uh, two metres. This is the super king size bed, so the sides of the bed are two metres long. So they're for the side of the bed. And then over here we've got five more lengths of uh, Quebec. This is going to be the head and the foot. We're going to put three planks on the head and two planks on the foot. So now it's time to uh, put a radius on these on the edge and then uh, glue them three boards and two boards. So we'll get on with that now. Good tip for you this one. When you're joining two boards together like this, it's a good idea to put a radius on the corners rather than leaving them square. It's not just to look pretty. If you get any variation in the surface, slight variation when you've got a radius on you're not going to see it it disguises it when you've got a square edge if you're one millimeter out it'll stand out like a sore thumb so good idea to put a radius on there and if you do get any variation in the thickness of the timber then you won't even see it okay so that's the three boards glued and they're dry so now get these out the cramps and get the two boards in for the foot of the bed Right, while that dries, time for a cup of tea. You know what you're thinking? Mick, why are you sanding plain wood? I'm not sanding it to make it smooth. What I'm doing is sanding it to open the pores up so that when we apply the wax finish, it'll adhere to it. Okay, so that's uh, our head done. We've glued the three boards together. We've sanded them all nice and smooth. On the other side, the uh, rustic side, we've sanded the uh, roughness off but left uh, a rustic finish to it. Then we've fastened two 50mm uh, by 50mm buttons, one on each end, right around the top. This, we've sunk the screws in. We won't fill these screws because these are at the back of the headboard, so you won't see them anyway. Uh, so that's, uh, that's all done. Now it's time to get our two boards, our foot of the bed, at the cramps and uh, get sand in them. Okay, so that's the head and foot uh, complete. Uh, we've actually plugged these screw holes in the foot because you do see the back of the foot. You lose some of it because of the mattress, but you do see uh, probably the top two screws. So we've plugged those, glued them and plugged them and sanded them off and then they'll just get waxed over and they'll be fine when they're done. Now it's uh, time now to get the sides of the bed done, which is two planks. And uh, we've got to get those sanded and the support strips for the bed slats put on. So uh, we'll get on with those now. Okay, so we've cut our sides for the bed. Uh, because this is a super king size bed, the sides are two meters long, the length of the mattress. So we've put those, they were 11 and a half inch wide boards. We've reduced those down to 10. So we've got this inch and a half strip. We're gonna use this inch and a half strip then. We're gonna screw it to the side, glue it and screw it to the side of the bedside. And that's gonna support his bed slats, uh, which support our mattress. So we'll get on with that now. We'll get this drill screwed and glued to these bedsides. When we're screwing this strip on the side of the bed, just think it's uh, important to say, we're gonna set it down. Our, our bed slats are an inch uh, thick. So I've got this piece of wood, which is two inch thick, 50 mil. Uh, so we, I'm just marking it uh, on the side of the bed. So I'm gonna set the uh, support strip down 50 mil. So when our 25 mil bed slats are on, we'll still have 25 mil of upstand, which will just stop the mattress from sliding about. Yeah. It was. 
Okay, uh, with the four post Winchester, the uh, posts are too long to leave on for transportation. So we've got to make them removable. So what we're going to do is use the battens we've fastened to the head and footboard, and then we're going to drill some holes through here, and we're going to can sink the holes. Some of these coach screws, and they're going to attach the head and the foot to the six foot long posts. Uh, so I'm going to drill these now and drill the uh, recess holes as well in the foot. This, uh, this is the foot and I'm also going to do it in the head as well. That's all the baking done. Now it's time for wax. When we're waxing, we use sponge to apply the wax. Just find it's a lot better, a lot easier, a lot quicker. You can get into the corners easier. You can use a little brush if you want to get into the tight corners. Uh, and then once we've applied all the wax, we leave it a couple of minutes and then we use a rotary uh, attachment on a drill uh, to buff it. It's a cocoa brush and we just go over it all and buff it all and that gives it a lovely sheen. Okay, so I've applied the wax now to this side of the bed and uh, this is the rotary brush I was telling you about. It says it's a cocoa brush and uh, you just go over it. The more you buff it, the shinier it'll go. So we don't buff it too much, we just buff it so it's a nice sheen. So uh, I'll get cracking on this. Well, the wax in now, so it's now time to fit these uh, bed brackets to the sides of the bed. So uh, this piece goes on the side of the bed, this piece goes on the head or the foot. And what happens is you just up the hooks in and then this allows you to take the bed to pieces if you need to for moving it about. Uh, so let's get these fitted. These are handed, so they're numbered ones and twos. So each side has a number one one end and a number two the other end. Uh, so we'll get these screwed on and then we'll go over to the assembly area where we're going to set the bed up. Right, it's a bit of a tipper here, this is. Uh, because these brackets are just oaks going into holes, what happens a lot of the time is you pick the piece up off the weight bench to go over to the assembly area and this bit drops off. So a little tip that we do, we just get a little bit of masking tape, stick that over here and just put it on like that. And what that does is when you pick the piece up off the bench, it just stops this piece dropping off because there's nothing more annoying when you try to set the bed up and this piece keeps dropping off so that's just a little handy tip okay so that's the manufacturing done all the pieces there all eight pieces uh, all waxed and ready uh, we're going to assemble the uh, head and foot with these coach screws as i said earlier i've got an adapter for an impact driver which uh, fits on those which makes it a lot easier so uh, yeah, just bear with me now. I'm going to speed this up uh, when I start uh, assembling the bed, just so that uh, it doesn't go on too long. Now, this customer has asked for the headboard to be no higher than uh, 125 centimetres. So that's what I, we're going to set the bed head to on the posts. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want, but this customer has actually specified that he wants it no higher than 125. So that's what we're going to do. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. And uh, as I say, I'm going to speed it up because it's going to go on a bit, but uh, let's get this bed assembled.
Okay, so that's the uh, bed assembled. I've just got the uh, finals from stage now, which is just the bed slats to cut and fit. So uh, I'll just back the camera up a little bit so you can see the full view of it. That's the Winchester bed all set up. And that's it. That's our four post Winchester all ready. All ready for its uh, new owner to come and collect it tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed watching this, watching me make this bed. And I'm going to be posting lots more, so please do follow and subscribe. And keep watching for us on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Just keep watching and uh, you'll keep learning how to make things like this. Thank you.